As you look around, you don't see anything except to the bottom right, you see a chest. On the chest, it has a lock on it. And as you look up towards a servant, you see a key dangling from his waist. Rolling. <clears throat> Shriek with a seven. As you put your tools in, you realize at the last second that this sort of lock, something that you've actually seen while working when you were younger, is something that is afforded by most wealthier patrons, wealthier merchants. When something other than the initial prong of a key is put within, it slams the lock shut. And with a seven, there's a <laughs> that's actually pretty loud in the room. Huh? <laughs> Man startled looks around and doesn't see anything. Rolling for stealth. With a two plus two, the man, just to be sure, stares around the room. You don't know if he's superstitious, you don't know if he thinks it's an animal, but it almost looks like he's staring at your area of the shadow. You're not sure what he sees and what he doesn't see. Hello? But then he returns to his work after cautiously calling out and getting no response. My imagination. Alright. Shriek rolling. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Shriek, Shriek, as this older gentleman is standing with one foot on the ladder and trying to put one foot on the shelf and put a book where it probably doesn't even belong, you reach up trying your damnedest to very carefully grab the keys on his belt. And you succeed. You loop your fingers through the key and you pull it uh however um you don't account for the fact that they're attached to his belt so as you pull the keys down you also pull the old man down unpause He's just punched him across the- he's trying to knock him out. <laughs> the man is so old and frail that I don't need to roll for that. You're a monster. He- he, he goes to sleep immediately. <laughs> he lays on the ground, looking almost <laughs> dead, splayed across the right, tile floor. Rolling. Uh, no, I've mostly been the With a four, you hear a knock on the door as you open that chest. <clears throat> you hear a sigh and the feet move on. When you look through the chest, you see the following. It's a personal correspondence and it reads as the following. Fulbram, I've looked through the documents given, and this, I can't use this. This is a blatant disregard for the law. If anyone with half a brain looks into this and clearly sees, there was never any documentation or warrants for property seizure or arrest and disappearances of people who happen to be enemies of the Capitano, they will instantly know we are complicit. 
You think we will be shown any mercy for not reporting this? I cannot, in good sound mind or conscience, allow such a thing to take place. I'm sending a missive to the barons, and I'm going to confront the Capitano myself. Be ready to present these documents when I do. I'll not have a hand in murder nor theft. Regards, <clears throat> Telkist. Stupid fuck. As you stand by the door, you see a lot of guards coming and going. And if they see that poor old bastard splayed out, it might cause some trouble. Perception check, Kyler. With the 12, you feel like, in the very least, if you position him to look like he's in the chair, maybe, just maybe, it won't alert anyone's suspicion. At least till you're gone. <sighs> so you go to pick the frail old man up. He's very easy to move because he's all bone and ribs. You can't help but realize his old, sad, gray face looks very similar to Arn's. Commit. <laughs> you. you put him in the chair what sounds like a half-empty bag of chip so you're certain his hip might be shattered <laughs> as you as you place him in the chair his body like kind of sinks at a weird angle leans him forward but it <laughs> leans him forward and it looks like <laughs> rolling <laughs> like <laughs> we'll talk about it later <clears throat> it looks like He's fallen asleep at his desk. He's gonna tuck the quill into his hand. You monster. Maybe put a book under his head. <laughs> the cracking of bone as he manipulate his tortured body. <laughs> what have I done? As you do this... As you put the body where it needs to be, or at least the heavily injured individual... You hear light footsteps that are almost instantaneously upon the door. You see a light come in and the door close. <sighs> I see you got that close to do the day. What you see in front of you looks like a much older woman. As she comes in, you hear the door click. And she locked it as she came inside. As the woman comes and stands at the desk, as you walk by, she glances at you, but then seems to go to the desk and take a book and sits down on one of the seats. Perception check. With a 16, um, you're certain that she has seen you on the fringe of her eyesight when you pass by. You're also certain that if you attempt to lockpick the door, she will definitely hear it if she isn't aware of you already. But for now, she seems to kind of be content to put her back to you.
you look at the woman and her features are soft. They are certainly aged, without a doubt. The hair is blackish, but also a bit gray. She looks middle-aged, if not a little older. The dress is faded, but still a, a regal green. Are you going to go and talk to me? <laughs> or are you afraid? Should I be? <laughs> no. <laughs> I do like a piece of candy. Mm -hmm. Offers you a piece of candy as if you're some sort of child, but there's a soft smile on her sad face. <laughs> All right, I'll partake. <laughs> the woman pulls out what looks like a small round chocolate. You're not entirely sure if that's what it is, but it's definitely in a light, almost gold-looking wrapper. You can almost feel it beginning to melt from the heat of your hand. It seems that delicate. <sighs> My poor boys. They're always missing their father. <sighs> As you put the chocolate in your mouth, it is exquisite. You've never had something quite as good. It is a perfect mix of both creamy and sweet. Definitely something that's probably only nobles have had in Gradia, and it is enough to make your eyes widen for a second. You feel, you feel spoiled. And then you snap back to where you are and realize how odd this is. Uh, your boys, the brothers. Uh, you were always one of my favorites. Uh, my poor boys are always fighting. Uh, they miss their father so much. Uh, well... I just want them to be happy. Part of family is fighting now just because... we care about each other. Getting I care for my boys very much. I miss their father too. The woman slowly puts anything. the book on the table and says, you can sit and join me, as she turns to face you. As you wish. <clears throat> He's sitting, I just can't with my fucking trekking. There we go. Such kind eyes. <sighs> My bodies, they... They fight so much. So loud, so... <sighs> if their father was here, it would be so much different. He was an integral part of the but... family. I 
I have lost people close to me too. I understand heartbreak, though I have not had offspring to watch squabble and fight. That pain I cannot understand. He was a very important man to me. And if he was here now, I'm sure. I'm sure it would be different. I'm absolutely sure of it. My boys wouldn't fight so much. They wouldn't be so angry with each other. Would you like a piece of candy? I would not deprive it from you. I appreciate that. As a woman says this, you look at her, Sharik, and you see her eyes are slightly glazed. She repeats herself yet again. Are you sure you don't want a piece of candy? Do you want one? You're always my favorite. Of course. Such kind eyes. <sighs> I have to meet with my friends. The uh, door is locked. May I borrow the key? Just give it back when the door is open. Of course. Thank you so much. Such kind eyes. You slide the key in and it opens. Thank you. Would you like me to read you a story before you go to sleep? Mm, I need to go to the bathroom first. Will you come find me after? <laughs> I always have and I always will. I will see you soon then. Thank you. You hear the weights shifting of chain outside. Before it sounds like they start to walk forward and go down the hall. I miss our father so much. As you come this way, you check these doors and you realize these are barred on the inside as well. Those stairs go up to the next floor, but the first floor is all you needed. You assume that what you have is either all you will find or all you need. You can check the barracks on your way out, but your gut tells you it's time to go. As you hide behind the statue, peering down the hallway. You can't help but sillily notice that the flavor of that chocolate has stayed in your mouth. It is really rich. You're able to just kind of lightly smack your lips and still taste it. As you go into the corner to stay out of the lights, the two guards will continue to walk past, seemingly going to the next floor.
both of them in to clear the way. You see the wood door to your left is back the way you came. Is it not this one? Yeah, this door. Okay. Back the way you came. <laughs> I thought you meant like back down that way. It one. heads towards the back. No, sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> and you're caught. Good job, idiot. Oh, shucks. As you peer towards that corner, you hear plate just around to the left. He went for my bluff. He's not here yet, but he's coming. gets in my way. I'm not going on this shift tonight. Nothing's going on, you stupid fuck. <sighs> Congratulations, okay. Barrera. You're taking my shift. Wake up. <sighs> Be quiet, Dad.
Buster. What the what the come fuck here. You, huh? I can't fucking see shit. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> right fucking here. This is what's you going to happen. see fucking eyes. Yeah, what's well, the last thing you're going to see if you keep running your fucking mouth? Shut up! Now listen. Take this thing. Yeah, wake up, take the fucking thing. The torch, down, motherfucker! Man. I'm fucking digging it! Calm down. You give this up. Alright, I got it. I'm gonna make sure you're on the Capitano shit list. You understand me? Where's your fucking well, voice fucking in me again? Who the fuck you think you are, huh? Not anymore, motherfucker. Right. No. What? This scroll. <laughs> there's a copy of it. I need to go put one copy in the dead drop. You're going to take that fucking horse. And you're going to ride all the way to the same meeting spot that you know of. And drop that off for the Capitano. You understand? Uh, all right. Or steed awaits. I don't know I'm right. I'm sure you will. You keep this up. Make the Capitano happy. There'll be a promotion in it for you, I'm sure. Yeah, then you could be the new custode, huh? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm the next custode, for sure. Well, when he's fucking dead, the position will be open, will it not? Yeah. All right, I'm on my way out. Come on. Good. Get it taken care of. Fucking sweets over here. Train them. I don't know why he forgot. Wait, yeah, he was there for the lesson. <laughs> yes, he I was. In the lesson. He's a fucking idiot.
something you are. See you later, sweetheart. Rolling. With a three, you can't quite find anything out of place. All the stone looks smooth. You definitely saw him here. You know he was here. He was on this side as well. smarter than me. Fuck. Kyler, with a five plus two, you feel your fingers around the place. You don't find any indents. You don't find any buttons. You know there's something here. You just don't know how to get to it. If I disturb it too much, you'll know. At least there's something. <sighs> if you go to walk away, something occurs to you. With a 12 plus 2. You remember in your old life, there was a lot of times where things were hidden inside of towns and they use corners of buildings and there were indentations that could not be seen. The bricks would be smooth, but if you knew where to press, a compartment would be seen. Not all of it is stone. There was a wooden box that was carved into the stone itself. 
Surely not. Your right hand, instead of focusing on trying to find a ledge, starts applying gentle pressure here and here and here and here and... Shh! You son of a bitch. And you find a small box, and in it's... a paper. You open it up, and it says the following. I have secured the last shipment as you have asked. Most of the spice has already been loaded and left the port. We were paid a hell of a lot less for what we export to the Free Wharf last week. You might have to put in a word with them. Make sure they're not starting to stiff us. If they're going to be fucking making serenity with what we are giving them, they're going to fucking pay us right. Let me know if you need me to crack any heads. You press the button again. Shk. The wood box, disguised to look like stone, closes. Fucker. Two things come to mind. The first, that is irrefutable proof on top of everything else. But you know if you take it, it'll definitely be known to be missing. Two, if it's at a dead drop, it must be because either they can't meet face to face or they're avoiding suspicion. There's also a chance you replace it with a different message. You're not sure which route to take. Or neither. Sure, it will come in handy later. All right, chat. <clears throat> I'm going to need the notes on what the Capitano was talking about to the other guys. I know that was like the promotion stuff. Um, and the brothers as well.
finally some good fucking food. It's fucking cold. What's up with her? Uh. Hello. Buenos tardes. <laughs> I came to say good night to y'all. Is everything good? Yeah, all good. Did you have a good day? Um, no. But I think that's okay. You want to talk about it? Okay. Honestly, I think it'd make you hate me. Me hate you? Doesn't seem likely. You'd be surprised. Um... I'll wait till next time. I'll see you. Alright. Sleep well. <coughs> Ow. <coughs> I shrieked. Hey, Severick. <coughs> you doing well? Yeah, I mean, pretty quiet evening, so. So, remember I, how I was saying my I been able shoulder to hurt? Really talk to you it just spasmed a hell of a time. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure if you got my letter. As bad as I am at writing, I'm still learning how to do it. Uh, wanted to let you know I'm sorry. Four. Oh, no. 
feel like I angered you. Sorry doesn't mean much if you don't know why you're saying it. It's a cop out otherwise. Well, I know why I'm saying it. It's. As I said, I feel like I angered you. It's. I don't know. It's just this feeling of. I feel like I hit a nerve. By accident or on purpose, I don't know. Hello, Sif. Hey, Sif. Hello. Uh, there you go. Uh, your dad How are you doing? Drake. Uh, he should be soon. I think he's just out and about. We can come and sit inside if you'd like. Um, uh, sure. It won't take long once he's here. Yeah. Shouldn't, at least. Come on in. I'm standing up, but you can't see it. Um, Marcus put a pot of soup on this morning. It should still be there if anyone needs to eat. Uh, there's fish and steak in it. I put the fish and he put the steak in. Can you get everyone drinks, please, Severick? It's one of those nights. Shit. Can you get me a little uh, bit of soup? The only thing I've had is hard tech, and I'd rather have something that actually tastes good and not like drink. a rock. Oh, sit down and drink more. Uh, That's not a good way to go about life. One bottle down, why not another? That kind of There's night, huh? No I guess right. That's a couple what? nights. Yeah. We're doing this. Careful. I'm going to charge of hand. Fine. <sighs> no one bothers me. Hmm. Don't worry, I'm with her as well. <laughs> Something going on I need to know about. Mm, no? Not really. Okay. Uh, I mean, I can well, tell you that what you I'm don't already your dad about. It's nothing much. Um, Nor that hand, it's not there. Okay. <laughs> um, a couple of people now have told me you all are building, building a stable out back. Uh, yeah, the first I heard about it was this morning. I'm not entirely sure why. Ah, well... I heard yesterday about it, and now I've heard more about it today. Mm -hmm. Um, I have Jensen's horse, and I'm not really sure how long it can stay where it is. <clears throat> well, how long does it take to build a stable? Um, oh? Uh-oh. They said a couple of days. Okay. If they get all the materials, it'll be done, from what I remember. Okay. But I don't want to impose or anything. So I, I don't figured I'd ask. think that would be a problem as long as no one's, you know, looking for it or something like that. It's gonna make us look bad. I didn't even think about that. I don't know uh, if it's branded or something or recognizable. It's just an old horse. She is. Hmm. I mean, it's completely possible that they just sold the horse, so. <clears throat> Yeah. Getting the stews first, so I don't get the drinks. Yeah. Um. That's mostly it. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've accidentally grabbed a cup. I need to go Thanks. get this. What about you, Shriek? Anything we should know about? Not really, it's been a pretty quiet night for me. Just taking in the stars, having a few drinks, you know how it is. It's been a first, right? 
Yeah. <clears throat> Always enjoy best sightseeing. Good to hear, at least. Um. Oh, Sean, I told you before, it's three silver to cop a feel. Three Can't silver! Fuck Seven Listen, silver for I nine. didn't oh, pay no, you any- I was going to charge Marcus- was... I was going to charge Marcus two for hug, all we oh, know Listen, all the first it. one's on the house. No, it... We slept in the same room, but not like, you know. I know. Were you the little spoon? <laughs> We're giving you Yeah, shit. obviously. Were you the backpack? <laughs> Even if I was the backpack, I'd still be the little spoon. Or were you the backpack? You know, I feel like Sharik would definitely be more of the one that wants to be like... Like curled up into a ball, snuggled into my chest. Oh, I need a... Like a cat. box. Are you calling Sharik a cat? You know, this happens quite frequently, That's a good way actually. of putting it, yeah. Really? Yeah, th this is a, at least the this fourth or fifth time meow. in my life. <clears throat> my best meow. Huh. Well, I guess... I, I guessed mm. correctly. I would know. I wouldn't stoop so low. Yeah. Ever. <clears throat> I can see one of those. Fair enough. Is Forge Cat in here? Don't judge yeah. him. I'm not judging you. Let yeah, I don't even take this from someone whose name is part of a fucking body of water. No, apparently it's like Shun, like you're trying to shun someone, but every time you call him O'Shun, oh, he's like, no, it's O'Shun. <clears throat> I did, I... <sighs> <laughs> Just call me what the fuck you want at this point, I don't care. Alright, cocksucker. Okay, Dave. <sighs> The duality of <laughs> No, no, no! Shariq <laughs> <laughs> with a natural one. Oh, but you're now shoot. dented. I've My shit. done so well tonight, though. <laughs> okay, I do have something. Right. Did you all hear the rumors about okay. Soma today? About what? That he's asleep? Soma. Or... N no. Uh, people are saying these fantastical things about him so i heard from someone in the market that he can or that his finger was cut <clears throat> off and he reattached it back just by touching it i had someone tell me that um he unhinged his jaw and ate a bird whole <laughs> i had someone tell me that what he popped fuck? out his wait 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 i had someone it's, tell me he popped oh no there's more he popped out his eyeball put it in his hand ate it, and then it came right back to where his eyeball was. Who's telling you this? Shit like that. What the there was, fuck? I just overheard people in the market saying all this weird shit about him. You know, one of the guards actually said that instead of him picking up his finger, uh, he lost his finger. <clears throat> Did I die? He just grabbed a bunch of the dirt, no. put it back think on I where died. his finger is missing, and his finger ring. Yeah, I'm deaf. <laughs> Nearly the uh, dead one here. Hello? No, you're oh, I'm back? Uh -oh. I'm, you're I'm back! back. Oh. Welcome back, you're Sif. Back. Oh, Sif, it's oh, been three you're, years. You're all like mid conversation. I almost didn't have to pay oh, three silvers. Oh, I... Almost didn't. That's. That... No, you all. You yeah, all... it's a slippery that's slope. Fucked. That's fucked. That is. That, that's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God she's unconscious. <laughs> Leroy? Oh, Leroy, I have a moderator report. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. But yeah, things like that. They, they were talking not, about it all through the market today. It seems very obscure and just a general fuckery. It's outlandish. Mm. You guys I'm trying to remember the other one. crazier than mine. I've been making charcoal all day. I've what? made, I think, eight charcoal. <laughs> Oh, the other one was that he was just randomly walking the streets at night, speaking in tongues. That's the most believable. Yeah, one honestly, out of the four. I could. Yeah. Really? <laughs> that, that that one, I'm That's like the most oh, believable yeah. one. Actually, so that one kind of. I mean, with out, with actually. with how he sleepwalks, it, yep, I yep, can yep, see yep, it. Yep, 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 yep. It checks out, actually. Yeah. So, but like the rest of them are just outlandish. Right. Nothing. That was my best idea. Best. There wasn't much up there. Like. <laughs> Come on upstairs. I'm gonna start spreading rumors oh. about the Capitano that 
Yeah. He actually. Oh my god. <clears throat> you want some stew? I I'm sorry. My fault. I came to ask you something in particular, and. What is it? Um. I heard about the. Uh, stable? You're making out back? Um, what about it? I have Jensen's horse. And? I didn't know if you'd be able to provide it lodging. Once it's built, there'll be three slots. So I'm sure it would be possible. All right. Thank you. I need to talk to How you. How much wood do you need? I don't know. That's a Venora question. I uh, actually. She's paying her. She's the one getting it built. I was there, uh, and Venora okay. actually I'll said start she providing has some. Yeah. She. Uh, I was talking okay. earlier. She said she has. What Severick saying right now? Yeah. <sighs> you want to talk to me? Stables. To regardless. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Believe. Thank you. Yeah. You're fine, you can stay here. I'm going up to my study. <sighs> well, at least you have your answer on that. Yeah. Yeah. Really good, actually. Nearly without a hitch. I'm... Um. <sighs> well, were we interrupting anything? If you wanted to speak with Sharif, we can... No, I was just checking on him. Okay. Ye of little faith. I have plenty of faith, that's why I sent you. Doesn't mean that as your father, my heart didn't beat out of its chest. Yeah, mine too for a bit there. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> I... got into the custode's office and managed to plant the information like we talked about think I got it in the right spot. He is not a very bookwormy kind of person. So as far as I know, I don't say. <laughs> it's a mess in there. I happen to overhear him talking to some of his loyal guards, though. How did that go? At the request of, uh... Get right now. Well, he got a request asking to try and halt the Capitano's things. Okay. Like what he's doing. Yeah. <sighs> Custode said it's he's not in a position of power enough to do that, but he does have the power to promote. So his plan is to promote uh, one of his more loyal people to the rank of captain, which means there would be two of them. There would be the Capitano and the person that he appointed. <clears throat> you can at least limit his power She's a little shining. bit. Nothing. Smart. Actually smart. Right. Mm. Thinking aloud. <clears throat> okay. mm. So, there's that. I planted the information. Um, I overheard the brothers arguing. And it seemed like... I, th I think it was a mem that was in trying to remember. One of them was sitting on the throne it, uh, itself. I think it was a mem. But they were basically getting into it, and it seemed like it. It it seemed like a mem was overbearing Kovas, or the other way around. I'm trying to remember. It was Kovas, yes, Kovas yelling at a mem. He doesn't like the fact that he's working with the imps. 
it seemed very one-sided. It seemed like he was berating his brother. Like... Maybe they're not as equal as we thought. At least here. Can they say anything to each other? Threaten each other? Anything? Give us something. He said, uh, don't let me... I can't remember the exact wording. He, he basically threatened him, don't make me depose you as well, or something like that. Basically, the threat was that he'd done it. if you want me to. Please, uh, I fucking can't remember, uh, out of character. With a natural 20, <clears throat> you'll remember that a mem said the following. Amem had said that Kovaz knows nothing of their father's intent, that Kovaz is only lazy, wastes time, and only tries to look good to others, and doesn't care about anything other than his own image. That his action is jeopardizing the family. And the only reason Amem hasn't stepped in with force is because he's still his brother in his blood, and hoping he'll come to his senses. Kovaz responded with, What? Will you have me killed for my involvement as well? Yeah. So something like that, which means... Yeah. They're doing their best to remain united, at least to the general public, but, I mean, with that sort of information out there, fuck. I'm not sure. Maybe adventuring, exploring... What? Killed for my involvement as well. Mm-hmm. And Kovaz said this to his men. Mm-hmm. I'll make sure to have some free time for that then. Wait, Chef, you work with wood. Yes. The only person that has almost been killed for their involvement is Reserin. Sorry, that's a bunch of carved fish. But he wasn't killed. I thought he was referring to his father, but no, you might be right. But that doesn't make sense. That would mean that a man tried. What is this? Like a stranger in a stranger's house. Um, it's just a thing I'm working on as a gift. Yeah. I'm heading back. There is one last thing to be done to before I. What else did you do? Don't do the fine. What else happened while you were there? What do you think? Right. Uh, uh, well, after then, I moved on to the Scribery's. I got... <sighs> these two missives. Oh, scrolls. Some pretty fucking shady shit, really. Hmm. So the Capitano has been reporting... More time. The same income as he always has, without any variation, it's just the default number. It's as if he took it and filled it in prematurely. Mm -hmm. So he's definitely not paying taxes like he's supposed to, and that alone is a massive offense. <clears throat> Especially in Gradio. I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? This is good. Yeah, uh, thank to see him again for me. When they're done. I will. Well, this looked like this was going. Someone was going to bring this forward to the barons. Yeah. But it didn't. So that means. Whoever wrote this is probably dead. Yeah. He also said. I believe it said he was going to the Capitano about this. Which is fucking stupid. That's exactly what it says. I'm going to report you well, to the police. Give me, no. <laughs> more stew in the pot over there. They tried to go an honorable route. Cleaning up. Confronted themselves and rely on the law. Yeah. While what I was else? there, as I was about to leave the room, an older woman came in, locked the door behind her, sat down and started reading. She saw me. 
She didn't scream. She didn't report me. It, I believe it was the Baroness. She called me over and said that my eyes were pretty and that she hates that her sons are fighting. Her eyes glazed over. She She's either not all there or she was strung out on something because she didn't even really register what I was. She offered to read me a bedtime story and fed me sweets and... It sounds like that she's disjointed from reality. <clears throat> yeah. When someone has too much happen to them and they crack, that can be the result at times. Yeah, I know. A shame. <clears throat> I, uh, I had hoped she might be the answer to this. I straight up asked her for a key, and she gave it to me and let me out. I then overheard, uh... I think it was the sergeant. It might have been Knox, I can't quite remember. You would have recognized the man that you're thinking about to be the same one that's been beating on Torty and attacking people in town, giving shitty orders, and was <laughs> the one who also had you cornered in the clinic. Knox, right? I can't remember his rank. I don't remember his fucking name either. But we know who you're talking about. Yeah. It's either Nox or Niraz. One of them. Um, either way, they... Like... Go ahead. Likely Niraz. Okay. Which would mean that's a sergeant. Yeah. I saw Sergeant Niraz, um... Basically beaten up on Corporal, uh, Barara. Pulled him aside and... One of the other names we were given. Yeah. Uh, pulled him aside and started talking about uh, delivering a message. They had a copy of a missive that they needed to get somewhere. He was going to take it to a dead drop while Corporal took it out of town to a usual meeting place. I ended up following him and I found out where this dead drop is. Upon searching it, there's basically talk of them supplying someone with Guardian Spice with the explicit purpose of turning it into Serenity. You've got them dead to rights, where is it? Well, it's still in its drop box. If they saw it was missing, then that would cause... They would know that it's been compromised. Was it signed? Was it signed? No, of course it wasn't. Why would it no, be? No, that'd be stupid. But it should still be there. It doesn't incriminate anyone, but we know where it is. We know that Marco's telling the truth now. Yeah. We know that he's been 100% truthful with us, which means we know how to deal with this. That means Marco's all in. <clears throat> which means we have to have a meeting with him, find out what else he knows, and maybe get him to go to this meeting place. We're close, we're getting close. We're getting very fucking close. We can also, because they don't know that it's been found out, we can also use this drop point as... Well, we could put anything we want in there. You're a genius. Mm. We could misdirect them. Mm -hmm. Whoever picks it up, if we can find out who the <clears throat> dead drop is for explicitly, we can mislead them. We could send them, if necessary, into a trap. I had offered to watch it tonight, could pick one of them off. but I am exhausted after doing all that. If you need me to, I can stay and watch, but...
continue. Too tired to watch it, but... Well, if you need me to watch over it during the night, I can and see who comes to it. I need you to get rest. I think we're going to have to make a move tomorrow. Okay. I'm probably going to find and speak to Vezrin. All right. Compare notes. This is good. This is good. You've done well. Mm. You've done very well. If we can dismantle what the Capitano has left in terms of manpower to the point where his own men are willing to turn on him, and then at the right time turn this evidence forward, he'll have no one willing to cover for him. If we can undercut his trade and smuggling, he will have no silver, which means he will not be able to bribe anyone. He'll begin to flounder, and whoever he works for is going to get furious with him that he's not able to fulfill his side of the role. keep using the dead drop figuring out where these incomes will come from cut them off you're right <laughs> you're right we'll find out where the supplies are being delivered we'll find out where they're landing them because it's not in Nodis anymore I heard rumor a ship coming out of black water making its way up the coast into the uh, black water. the channel going all the way up and coming back down in the same night. There's no docks up there. That's got to be a drop-off. Of something. It has to be. The only thing that I know is north that is unmarked is the, the robber baron's castle. It could be that. Mm. But if it's not... Assuming that it's connected. But it's coming from Blackwater, so it's a good fucking chance. Sorry, Black Rock. Tomorrow, you and I are going to go for a little sail with Ray. Mm -hmm. See if we see anything weird on the coast that's unaccounted for. There's got to be a place where things are being dropped off. If we can find out where it is and hit it when a shipment arrives, we'll have undeniable proof. We'll have, we'll have to bring somebody that is undeniably able to be trusted when this is brought forth as a witness. We'll have to think on that. We have time. Custode wouldn't even fit in the boat. Right, someone <laughs> reputable. Well, I mean, you'd be able to take him on foot. Probably not horse. Wagon, maybe. What about the innkeeper? If he's been reporting to... You're right! You're on a roll tonight! I'm on my fucking A-game. Gerbrum would be perfect for this. He's already an informant for a man. Mm -hmm. He has no reason to lie. If we can have him witness this, they already have a working relationship. If a man trusts him to be the eyes and ears in the town, he has no reason to think that he's lying. Then Gerbrum can bring this forward and let him know. We can unravel this within the next few weeks. <laughs> Finally, the pieces fit together. I am so fucking proud of you. <laughs> this is when I'm good floundering, at. you're coming up with answers. <laughs> when I'm trying to figure them out, you already have the pieces ready to put together. You've been paying attention. You've, you've been listening. Yeah, of course. This is great. All right. This is good. First things first. I sit and compare notes with Vezrin. Tell him what we've discovered and find out what he's found out from Burgo Masco's ledger. After that's done, I will sit with Gerbrum and prepare him for what it is that we're going to do. If he is so vested and truly interested in the province remaining peaceful and caring about those he cares about, this will be in his better interest and he'll still be fulfilling his word by serving his baron. Then we have you monitor the dead drops. We wait until we see something about a delivery. And once the delivery is about to be made, we'll be sitting there waiting, armed to the teeth. And I like it. Dead to fucking rights. I like it. Along with this evidence, well, you know, nothing. Seal his fate. We take care of Naraz. 
and Nariz, however you say it, and that Corporal Barrera. They'll have nobody else. Now, how do we... Who do we instate in his stead? If we want control over this, otherwise we let the custodian work that out, because I'm sure he'll capitalize on it. I have an idea if things work out well enough. Yeah. Maybe Marco. Mm. Think about him. The guy hit rock bottom. Saw... What he could have potentially lost and was terrified. It's obvious he doesn't like the Capitano. But for whatever reason, he's living next to the bathhouse. It's been hinted to me that he's cared about someone there. So he has a heart of some sort. If he's given purpose and with the custode over his shoulder, I think he could be put on the straight and narrow. Would that make the custode promote him, though? I don't know, I'm not sure. If he was you. instrumental in the taking down of the Capitano, that might make the Custode more... He needs to come with us on that raid. Mm -hmm. He is our witness in the guard. Gerbram is the informant as a witness. It would not hurt to inform the Custode after we did it. Dead to rights. <sighs> Dead to rights. Well played, my son. Well played. Having a good night. Right. <sighs> You've made it into a good night. This stone wall we've been smashing our head against. We finally made a crack with our own skulls. And you manage to find the crack and slip right in. So, meetings tomorrow. And then we can act on what we need to. We finally hmm. have a course we can follow. We do. I'm gonna go speak to Vezrin if he's still awake. Want me to come with you? Absolutely, fucking lootly I do. Okay. Hello, to sing. Hello, Shriek. Sing, Shiri. Um, there's a knock at the door. I'm gonna figure that out. <sighs> knock at which door? That door or this door? A back door, I'd assume. Miss Basil. Oh, no, he was uh, just walking around. Oh, the oh. poor thing. Yeah, well, spoke out of turn to a noble. I'm sure I've learned my lesson. If you'll forgive me, I need to find Vezrin. He's a uh, bathhouse top uh. floor with Miss Torty. It might be. Well, he'll have to survive. Come on. Clean up the kitchen, uh, but I'll let you go. Thank you. We'll have to be careful going in there or else we'll see his mirror and tingle. I worked on smaller daggers, don't worry. Come on. Wow. Hobbits need weapons too.
So apparently we just missed them, but canonically I'm going to pound on the door. <laughs> That's right! That's Ren! Oh, come on, you don't take that long. That's Ren! That's Ren! Yeah. That's Ren! Flashes the lockpicks. <sighs> Not worth it. Oh. Huh? Oh, thank oh. God. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, Christ. I have really uh, good fucking uh, news, that's what. Hi. Oh, um... I'll go back in? We were kind of in the middle of really something. Desperate. You're not even, you're not even hiding on any of that or nothing. You oh, shit, um... Uh, I wasn't this, thinking. This is important. You can go back to bumping uglies in a second. We need to tell you something. Uh... All right? Sure. Right. Don't ever fucking blush at me again. Come inside. <laughs> Well, Come I was going inside, to, but... it. All right, fine. <laughs> oh, God. What are you two... No, don't worry about it. Anyway. Uh, yes. Very important. I, I was literally jumping for joy a moment ago. So. Sharik managed to get himself inside the keep. There was a reason for it. Very long story short, Markle had him help me forge some documents. Found out that our good friend Harry is from Ireland and needed some help. So we helped him. It required one of the documents to be placed inside of the custode's office. A tall ask, but possible. Sharik managed to get in there and do that. However, there's a couple of things he came across, and then I asked him to push even further and see whatever dirt he could get us from the keep itself. Several things. The first, the custode, in an effort to try and balance out power with the Capitano's men, is promoting some of his own to an equal rank to try and make sure that it's more balanced out. He's making a schism. He's going out of his way to ensure that his men have more of a foundation to resist what the Capitano is doing. The second thing that he discovered was several documents. The first is one that shows that the Capitano's reported taxes and his income as a salary of a soldier of the Redod family was never changed ever since he was promoted, before he was promoted. It has just been filled in, default numbers from his last rank, which means whoever it was that he bribed to make his numbers look normal were never even updated on his promotion. He's been doing this since before he was Capitano. The man's dirty as can be. On top of that, he also found a missive between two scribes. One of them had found out what the Capitano was doing and was going to confront him and send a missive to the barons. Apparently that never happened. More than likely the man who wrote it was dead because he said he was going to confront the Capitano himself. But it's more proof on a pile. He was so ballsy right. that he poked his head into the side of the fucking throne room. And he heard the brothers arguing. What did they say? I don't remember what you told me. <sighs> something, something, I'll have you killed for something too. Have you killed for? Kovaz was arguing with a mem about the Imperial presence, and you had said something about he's not filling his father's shoes, he's ruining his legacy, or something like that. Yeah. But they went back and forth, and Kovaz said to him, I'm sorry, a mem said to Kovaz that the only reason why he hasn't intervened with force is because Kovaz is his family. And then Kovaz responded with, What, are you gonna kill me for being involved as well? Which instantly made me think 
that the only person that I've known that's almost been killed for their involvement is you. That would mean that he was speaking to the Baron and Mem openly about knowing about the order being given. Which would mean it wasn't Kovaz. And Mem really did it? I... that's what it sounds like Kovaz said in front of him. Mm. What are you going to have me killed for my involvement too? Who else would he be speaking about? There's been nobody that's gone up missing or anybody we know that's died as of late that could be connected to uh, this. Involvement in what specifically, though? They were talking about their little power struggle. Mm. The last I learned some things as well, the... but go ahead. You ran into the Baroness. Uh, you better tell this one, because I still am having trouble wrapping my head around it. I made my way into the room, quietly. No one saw me. I didn't have to deal with anyone, and no one befell any terrible accidents. Upon being in the room, an old lady came in after me, closed the door, and locked it. She went and sat down and read a book, but as she was making her way across the room, she looked right at me. She saw me. Didn't scream, didn't react at all. After a while of sitting down, I was trying to figure out how to proceed, and she called me over to come and sit with her. She started complaining that her sons had been fighting all the time, and it made her sad. And she said I had pretty eyes and offered me candy. Her eyes were glazed over like she was either strung out on something or just in another world completely. I straight up asked her for the key to get out, and she gave it to me. Offered to read me a bedtime story. So, oh, shit. That she's sounds like... not in a good position. I think she's like what happened deteriorated. Uh, how old was she? Uh, older, he said. Oh, middle-aged. I, Well, you were saying sometimes when people go through a lot, they just kind of... Sometimes when people are under intense pressure with no way out, they crack. You see it a lot in war veterans. I just had a thought. It's now just been confirmed that she is so detached from reality that your theory of being able to put anything in front of her to sign, if we need to. Oh, shit. We have other plans, it obviously. Th that is a backup, I suppose. I, I secured us another backup plan as well. Let's hear it. I spoke to Rafa, the um, head of the Sawtooth Company. I found out that the Robber Baron is not his supplier. He... If he's to be believed, who knows, whatever. Um... I told him that the robber baron seems to plan to want to supplant them and get them ousted when they move, if he moves in. I told him he could have the Thwire family owe him, and it would help his position here. He's willing if I can show that one of the brothers is willing and interested in a loan to front the money so that they can buy the Sodillo company. We just have to figure out which brother we want to have that and convince them to take the loan. I'm still not sure which brother, but I feel like we're getting closer. That's the other part that I didn't tell you. He found that they have a dead drop. Well, they exchanged messages. And the one that he found in there that we have not removed, for good reason, proves that they have just moved, what, a shipment of... Guardian Spice, with the explicit purpose of turning into Serenity. These are the guards we're talking about. The Sergeant uh, Nuraz, on the Capitano side. I also learnt a couple of days ago that a ship left Black Rock, went up the channel, and came back in the same night, clearly delivering something. But, as you would know, there's no dock there. There's no town with a dock. So there has to be a hidden place. Our current plan... You said in Bellano? No, uh... Black Rock. It Black came Rock. from Black Rock. On the other side of the channel. Our current plan is to monitor I the dead drops. 
place. The robber baron's dealing with pirates right now, with Black Rock, he's selling a lot of iron over there. Hmm. It's possible. The current plan is to monitor think? the dead drops to see who goes to it to pick it up on the other side, so we know who we're dealing with. And then when we can, figure out when the next shipment is coming in. Take it. The plan so far is we now know where that dead drop is. We can find out when they have their next shipment. We're going to bring someone who can irrefutably tell this and it be believed. We're going to bring Gerbrum with us. He's already an informant for a mem. If he witnesses this and can speak for it as what it is mm -hmm. and tell a mem, then it cannot be denied. At the same time, we have now found out from this that that guardsman Marco has been telling the truth. He's not lying. He wants the Capitano gone. We'll have him come as well. He'll be our witness within the guard. We'll have an informant, a guard, and after it's done, so we cannot be stopped, we'll tell the Custode. If he is of as good alignment as we think, he'll want this information to get rid of the Capitano more than wanting to punish us for overstepping. Everything's falling Let's into see. place. I see. This lines up with a lot of stuff that I just found out. Um, uh, I've got a uh, note here. It's from Bergamasco's ledger. I managed to get the. Uh, I managed to let get Tobman to give it to me. Uh, this will be p pertinent for you. It's um, I forget his name. I love. Do you remember? Oh, merchant. Ah. Uh, it's written down there, whatever it was. Yeah, it says right here. It's. Mm, there's a merchant. <laughs> there's a merchant using an alias. He's been buying up all of the, um, or rather, <clears throat> merchants have been suspiciously canceling in bulk, and then he or delivers exactly what they've canceled. I think that the guards, their operation was. Essentially, seize cargo from the wharf, give it to this uh, person who's using an alias, and then they sell it into the market. Mm. There's more on there. But... Right. Mm. He shows up every time there's a shortage. Um... Then we can this? facilitate a shortage. We can force one. Something that the dynasty needs or something that the people need in town. We can either buy it all up or ensure that it doesn't get to town. See if we can find out who it is that makes us move when the time comes. If we could sniff them out... We're not as close to the Merchants Guild as you. We won't be able to do that. I'm just gonna have to be all you. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, here's the thing. Uh, Rolf has said that his... Employ uh, supplier of iron has moved shop and that he doesn't feel safe doing business here anymore so that might be drying up soon unless he actually is working with the robber baron in which case we will see no change in the iron supply he still thinks I'm in Rafa now Wait, believes that say I'm, that again uh... what did he say I said I still wanted to meet with his supplier in the north, and he said um, that he was moving shop because it wasn't safe to do business here, I think. If I remember correctly. My thought process is this. It would get really hard for the robber baron to control the roads and mines that are so close to the Badlands while engaging with the Imperials. With everything that's happening with the Grey Orcs, these Agmadrod Orcs, we've seen how much of a threat they are. We've gone into the crags. There are a lot. They've already built the beginnings of a fortress. There's no way that he's going to be able to maintain those supply lines. There is no one else here who could be providing iron. There just cannot be. Hmm. Remember, we were told the reason by, by the, the, the Major. He brought this back to us. That the only reason that he could see why Nodis was so important to anyone was it's one of the few iron mines in the region. Who else would be providing? 
Everything we're getting from Sawtooth, it has to be from here. It must. It has to be. <sighs> I refuse to believe anything else. How could they... S how could they bring shipments, what, every day? Every two days? The only thing within right. two days of here would be Coracadus. And the prices had to have been much higher. I get charged almost doubled from the Merchant's Guild. Most of that is bureaucracy. But getting your hand on iron is difficult. Indeed. So then that means Ralph has probably gone to the core too, then. It's probably... I would not trust him. Mm. At the end of the day, right. regardless of his honeyed words, he is a pirate. We have to make sure that we do not make ourselves vulnerable to him. Right. The only thing I've said, um, I, I forewarned him about the robber baron, made it seem very much like he had taken me for a fool, and I was now warning Rafa that he was going to double-cross him, so... Rafa expects me to keep in contact with the Robber Baron, and I doubt that their ties are so tight that he's going to sell me out when he could use me to get more information on this potential betrayal. Still, there's a lot of spiderwebs. You have to be careful. I know. Eventually, someone's going to notice. That's my concern. Right. But the way it stands now is we're well on our way because of what he has discovered be in conjunction with what you have to dismantling what the Campitano has going on here. If we can get him out of the way, the barons are vulnerable to us. I just remembered something, actually. Right. On the way out, when I was listening in about the dead drop, probably nothing, but that sergeant I was listening to joked about... When the custode is dead, you can be the next one to uh, Corporal Barrera. Barrera. What? I don't know if he's oh, just God. just talking shit or they are plotting something. They might be trying to knock him off. If, if he's either nearly as decent as people have said so th thus far, he would be a thorn in this. Well, if he's trying to counter the ranks by installing men of his own to balance it, that would probably push them over right. the edge. They're going to try and kill him. They're I... absolutely going to try and kill him. Which means we need to get this done sooner rather than later. <sighs> Depends on how frequent these shipments are. I can warn are. the Major about it. Major. Warn the Capitano directly. Still alive, anyway. Leave him a anonymous letter. Our meeting's tomorrow, isn't it? I think so. We'll figure things out from there. <laughs> Let us assume for now that any Imperial ties are going to be severed. That will mean that a Mem is vulnerable. He's going to lose militarily his support. We need to find a way to fill that gap. All right. He loses that. We'd have to take care of the robber baron. Or... or uh, if we can't trust I'm Rafa, still a... then we have to find another way. Well, that's the other thought. Burgo Masco has been replaced. Burgo Masco has been replaced. But the Capitano sales have not stopped. The only ships coming in out of port now are Rafa's. We need an insight on the Sawtooth. I'm their employee. I can just be extra active these next few days and keep an eye on everything for you. My point is, there's only particular ships bringing goods in here now. And if Burgo Masco is gone, and the Capitano is still involved in this smuggling, as we have just seen tonight, 
That means the ships that he has used have never left. Hmm. He's working with Rafa. He has to be. Shit. All right, then. Do you think Rafa is this man? Anyway. This merchant. No, but I think he's transporting the goods for his own gain. Hmm. They're not going to risk having honest merchants if bringing things to a dead drop, are they? Especially if they're not coming into our harbor. Well, all I know is that if we can provide more incentive to Rafa than the others, I'm sure he'll jump ship to uh, whatever we need him to do. But then again, that should only be a plan B. Well, in the very least, we've made immense progress tonight. Yes. <sighs> that could not wait till morning. Plenty to think over. Oh, sure. Well, we'll leave you to your, uh, Come on. Oh, uh, right. Uh, make sure to read that over. There's a lot of pertinent information there for you. Good night, Mirandel. Good night, Don. It's nice to see you happy. Have a good night. Hey, congrats, you two. Good night. Uh, ah, thanks. I feel dirty. I slept in that room last night. Why? <clears throat> I was in the bathhouse and I was tired, so I took a nap. Sure, you realize this is a bathhouse. Like, the Capitano's probably gotten his dick sucked up there and you slept in there. Mm, Sif slept in the bed, I slept on the little futon thing. You don't think... Mm. Uh, now I want another bath. You weren't face down on the, the sheets, right? No. God, no. Someone was. I know that's uh, there's one secret about me that uh, I know that potentially you get some rest here. Yeah. Dear family. I uh, mm. took a potion and it's wearing off. After getting a beating? I'm not that old. Ah. But probably. <laughs> oh, Tazim. Yes. No, Marcus made some stew and whatnot, so I cleaned up the kitchen. You don't have to. Thank you. So that's very kind of you. I'll uh, be back shortly. Okay. You gonna be heading home, Sharik? I'll walk you back. Good night, everyone. But yes, Miss Basil. Good night, Good night Sharik. Sharik. Good night. We'll talk tomorrow. Good night. I, um, took a potion to help and it's wearing off. A little dizzy, that's all. Fucking with my vertigo. You okay? Yes, I'm fine. I... You remember when I said that I never got to watch my son train with a sword or ride horses or practice his craft? Hmm.
I'm just very proud of you. That's all. That's all it is. I am very proud of you. Afraid? But very proud of you. Seeing you do so well and... and... I'm not terrified if I was gone tomorrow that you wouldn't make it. I suppose that's all you can ask I of me. I know that no matter what, you would. That is all I ask of you. Just to survive. To grow strong, to be better, than, wiser than I ever was. I am slowly learning. that we are past the phase of me saying for you to leave the room that it's safer that you don't know. <laughs> and that we are very much at the point where I need to accept that you are capable. You're capable, you're able. And in many things, you are better than I am at them. I'm watching you grow up under fire. And it is both one of the most terrifying things. It's akin to when you are able to forge a brotherhood. You'll never be closer with someone than someone you've had to spill blood with and survive with. Mm. Doing that alongside your family, it's something that you never want to see, you never want to worry. But if you survive, if you make it, if you grow, if it's witnessed, And I know that when I'm gone, you will be strong. And you will carry everything I've put on your shoulders with grace. And I know that no matter what happens, that I will be proud of my son. That's all. I'm just being tired and old. Thank you for trusting me. I just wanted you to hear it. <laughs> With all of it, that and... It's not trust, this. my son. <laughs> the day that I trusted you was the day that I told some street urchin he could come in my forge to stay warm by the fire. I trusted you to not steal my tools. Jokes on you, I took your trust, name instead. And I couldn't be more grateful. Come on. I love you, Dad. I love you too, my son. My boy, my pride. My house, my legacy, my greatest achievement. I love you too. And I will do everything and anything in my power to make sure that you have everything you need. I will only be satisfied and only be able to rest the day that I know that you have everything. And when I am too old, all I pray to any god that is listening is that I see you upon that throne. Of men with our banners kneeling before you. With your name being chanted. Because the people love you. 
is all I want. That is all that I would die for. My son. My heir. Come on. Come on. My father's name was Gregor. Gregor Erhard. But the people loved him so that he was called Gregor the Good. <laughs> he put the people above his own lavish life and lived and suffered amongst them more than most nobles would. I have tried to emulate my father. Even in ways that have been very hard for me. I am excited to see the name that you earn. The name that people whisper when you're not next to them. The name that they say when thinking of my son. Because I know it will be something good. I know it will. I can see you standing in plate of gold and purple. I can see you with long white hair, a white beard. I can see your back straight and Estark at your side. And of course, because you're you, probably daggers somewhere I'd never guess. I look forward if to I ever the stare at you during the day, it's because that's what I see. We're gonna make it. More nights like this and we'll make it. I will. I refuse to die until you are on that chair. Good. I refuse. I love you, Kylo. As sure as my blood, I love you. Get some rest. There's going to be a lot that we have to do in the coming days. And I will need you. You got it. Get some rest too. Get those wounds cleaned and looked at. I will. I still need to spend some time on the pier before I sleep tonight. You see her, tell her I said hello, okay? I will. Good night. <laughs>